Hey guys, so this is a video I've wanted to do for a while and I decided with Mother's Day coming up this coming weekend, it's the perfect time to share um, some of my homemaking favorites. So some of the items that either are super helpful to me as a homemaker or things that just make it more enjoyable. Um, now these are not Mother's Day gift ideas, so if you're here to take <laughs> to get a gift idea for someone, it's the wrong place. I thought that this would be a good video to share in case you are looking for ideas for yourself. I know that um, my husband will ask me like, oh, is there anything you want for Mother's Day? And I always draw a blank. Um, and also, I sometimes I don't know um, what could be the most, I'm all about efficiency, so what's the most efficient gift? Um, say he's gonna spend $100, um, what could I get that would be the most helpful to me throughout the year for a hundred bucks? Otherwise, I'm just gonna say a pedicure or a massage and it's great, but it's not something that's going to carry through and really help me a ton here at the house. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. These are all things, hopefully most of them will be available. If they are, I'll link them below. If not, hopefully you can find something similar and let me know in the comments below what some of your favorite homemaking items are as well. So. Let's get started. So the first thing I have to show you is this air purifier. And um, this is something that I really love in our home because we have a dog and so my kids have allergies. We didn't know this until after we had gotten this dog. It's a rescue dog. And so naturally, like we're not, he's not going anywhere. He's here to stay. Um, but we needed something to just help with the air. I just feel like our air is thick because we have a dog that sheds. So we got two of these air purifiers and we leave them on either side of the house. If for some reason somebody leaves their bedroom door open and the dog gets in there, we'll just move the air purifier into their room for the day. This is super helpful. So this air purifier has a filter, but it also has a, I believe it's a carbon pre-filter or charcoal charcoal I don't remember it's a pre filter so it's it preserves the length of the filter and you can just buy the replacement pre filters on Amazon as well and they're a lot less expensive than buying a new filter every time it also has a UV light if you um, want to turn that on if you've been exposed to germs if there's germs in your house if you have people over etc but we really love this air purifier it has hands down been one of the most helpful things since we've gotten our dog. We've recommended it. My mom has one, my sister-in-law has one, and it really does work in a large space. So we can just put one in our living room, dining room, kitchen area, and it purifies the air on that entire side of the house. The next thing I have to show you is our Berkey. So this is a water filter, um, and we also have the fluoride filter on it as well. We actually, to be honest with you, had always just used like one of the, you know, the plastic filters that you just fill and stick in your fridge or had a really good filter in our refrigerator water line. But until we started using the Berkey, we really had no, you know, people say water has a taste. Um, and you just can't understand how they say that. Once you use the Berkey, you will see that water has a taste. You can literally put food dye in the water and it'll run out clear. It does take a while to come through. The nice thing is, this is an investment, but the filters that you put in the Berkey last for years and years and years. You can just take them out, spray them down, and, um, and then you don't have to replace them consistently like you do with one of the refrigerator filters. So I really love this uh, Berkey. We have a lot, I think this one is called the Big Berkey, uh, but they also have smaller ones that hold less water if you aren't such a large family. Um, and this one I believe holds two and a half gallons at a time. The next thing I have to show you is the number one question I get asked and that is our Roomba. And everybody wants to know if I recommend the Roomba, if the Roomba is worth it. Um, and here's what I have to say, and I say it so often that I'm really glad I have it in a video now. Um, if you're looking for a vacuum, like a good deep clean um, to do all the vacuuming work for you, if you have carpeting, things like that, no, I don't recommend the Roomba. The reason I love the Roomba, one, is for dog hair, two, because we homeschool and I have a little bit less time to clean during the day than I would like, and three, because we live at the beach, we are constantly bringing sand inside, our soil is sandy on its own, etc. So I say that the Roomba is more like a glorified sweeper vac. Um, so say you have one of those stick vacuums, or you have like, you know, one of those sweepers that don't have to be plugged in or whatever. I love the Roomba for that because I can turn it on, it'll get the majority of our floor space, and it'll pick up all the things like the little, 
of bits of sand, dog hair. It keeps me from having to vacuum or sweep three or four times a day with a dog that sheds, with kids who are in and out with sandy feet, etc. Um, when I have to do a super deep clean, I do use a regular vacuum. It gets the corners better. It does a little bit of a better job picking up the bulky things that are uh, stuck on the floor than the Roomba does over time. I will say that people um, get discouraged after a few months that the room is not working as well you can buy replacement parts you can buy replacement filters replace or br replacement brush um, replacement parts I was constantly cutting um, hair out of our Roomba brush because I have long hair my daughter has long hair and I was worried that that was making the you know making it work poorly so for like $15 I bought a replacement set and it came with the two replacement brushes and three replacement filters and it's working brand new again. I did not get the Wi-Fi enabled one, but I did get the one that I can set on a timer. So sometimes it'll run at like 7 a.m. Um, on like Tuesdays and Thursdays for me because we're out of the house and I'll forget or something like that. Also, we don't have, I know people have showed pictures of it going through like a dog's mess or going through paint and spreading it all over the house. I don't turn it on. Um, when we leave the house unless the dog is locked on one side of the house although he's never had a household mess but it's possible uh, we also don't have carpeting so that works out for us so one of the other things I love to use our room before is when I am um, when we're doing homeschool and we're in one section of the house I'll block off the kids bedrooms and it'll run through their bedrooms for them so that's really a great option as well the next thing I have to show you is this iRobot mop and I believe it's Brava Jet. I think this might be made by the same, I can't remember if this is the company that makes Roomba. Um, it's really messy because it's always on our floor. It's the smaller sized one. This is awesome. Again, it kind of works like one of those Swiffer wet jets. It'll spray water and then it's got cleaning pads. You can either use your own cleaning pads you can buy online that don't have chemicals on them or you can use like the pre-filled cleaning you know, pads that already have the cleaner on them. Um, the nice thing about this is that it, it just it goes through it gets every corner it's pretty good with the sensor as far as making sure it gets the whole room I've not had an issue with that before it's smaller so it, we can put it in our bathroom it does a good deep clean of our bathroom I really like it it's not super quick so yes it is a lot faster to go through with your own mop but again when the kids are doing school and I want to make sure their rooms are also getting clean at the same time or you know if their floors are wet they can't go in there well I know we're gonna be out of the room for an hour I'll let it run in there then it goes underneath the beds I don't have to do all the bending around it's super helpful for that if we're gonna be on one side of the house to run it on the other side and a lot of times I'll run it in the kitchen at night when I go to bed and it's just it'll get the whole kitchen done really well so I really like that as well the next thing I have to show you is an item that I can't link below because I don't specifically love a certain brand or you know I'm not attached. This is just like a Target store brand mop. But this mop is great if you are conscientious of um, chemicals and cleaners and things like that. Any kind of a spray mop that you can fill with your own cleaner. So I use essential oils so I put my Thieves cleaner in this spray canister and then I can do my own um, you know it comes with a microfiber mop pad you can get these at Target this was a Target brand they don't carry it anymore I did see them have a different one I will actually link it below just because um, in case you need direction with finding one but you just toss these um, you know these pads in the washing machine it's like a microfiber pad I just really appreciate that you can put your own cleaner in this so that's a really great option as well and most of them are under $30 it's super helpful to be able to use your own cleaner and not have to pull out like a bunch of stuff when you're doing like a deep mop uh, you just want to do some spot cleaning clean some tile etc I really recommend this it's a great option to have around as well the next thing I have to show you is this sandwich sealer. Um, I just I have a couple of kitchen gadgets to show you. I can do a whole kitchen favorites if you want, but this is fun and it makes things really easy. I can make a bunch of freezer sandwiches quickly with this sandwich sealer. I do have one kid, you guys know who he is, that does not like crusts, he's super picky. So this is great and it just makes things a lot more fun. So I like the sandwich sealer as well. If you're looking for like a little small gadget for your kitchen, you wanna upgrade um, some of your little kids food gadgets that's a great one to have as well um, the next thing I have to show you this is perfect because I have four kids but even even if you don't um, it's a great option for sorting laundry is this rolling laundry hamper this one is awesome because uh, like I said for me all four of my kids have one that's just for them 
but it's also great because these bags come out very easily. You don't have to do anything special to detach them. They just pop right out. You can dump it in the wash and put it right back in. I have a second one that I put their clean clothes in and roll that back toward their room and rotate. Um, so it's really helpful, it's very efficient, and it's one of the things that I've meant to show you guys for like two years, and we I really love it. I can roll it back and forth when need be. If my kids have their, like after the beach, they've got their laundry spilled all over the place, they can just roll around with them and put their laundry in the right place. And again, I can put, I can just dump their clean laundry into the other one and roll that through as well, or they can carry it in bags etc. Um, the next thing I have to show you is this grain mill. So you guys know that I love milling our wheat, but I did not want to invest in a $300 grain mill, another bulky item in my kitchen. This attaches to my KitchenAid and it has the different settings for how thin or thick, you know, how light or dense I want my whole wheat flour to be. Um, if you have a, one of the heavy duty KitchenAids, this has been a great option. I've had this for three years and my KitchenAid motor has never burnt out. I have let it cool down a little bit in between if I'm doing like a big batch of wheat, but um, I wouldn't recommend it if you have a standard KitchenAid because I've heard that it does burn out the motor. So just a heads up about that. But this does make my life just so much easier because I always have my mixer out. And generally when I'm milling wheat, it's because I'm going to be using my mixer. So it just keeps everything in one place and it doesn't take up that much space. Another thing that I want to show you is my uh, essential oil tree. This is really helpful for keeping things neat and tidy, organized, up away from the kids, but also to display my oils in a pretty way instead of having to store them away. So this definitely helps me with keeping oils consistent. Um, example, I'm using, um, what is it called? Uh, I can't remember what the oil is called now. Uh, Endoflex. I'm using that and putting it on my thyroid every day or on the insides of my ankles for hormones. If it wasn't here on display every day as I'm walking out the front door, I wouldn't remember to do it. Same with the kids' evening oils. I would probably just do lavender instead of doing a combination of all the different oils that we do just because it's a hassle to go pull things out. It also just keeps it relevant so I see it and I think, you know, if somebody has the sniffles, it's right there versus me trying to come up with another, you know, um, another plan or pulling on medication or something like that. Um, it just keeps it right here on display near our diffuser uh, where our family is all the time and it's really pretty and it's uh, like a cast iron look. I don't know that it necessarily is cast iron, but uh, it's really pretty and I really appreciate having that out here. And then the last thing I have to show you is something that I show often and get asked about a lot, and that is our ProClick binding machine. Um, now, of course, I homeschool, so it's helpful for me to have this in our home, but for any mom or anybody who gets a lot of artwork from their kids or who compiles recipes or uh, if you have paperwork or manuals or things that um, you need to hang on to, pieces of mail, this is a really great option to have and keep everything organized and in one place. So I really like this. I've had this one for three years as well. I've got the thicker spines and the, the spines that hold less papers. And it's just been really helpful to have in our home beyond just for our homeschool. So those are some of my favorite items here at our house that we I use for homemaking, for cleaning, and just for keeping things uh, easy for me. If you guys have favorite items, I would love to know what they are. I would also like to know what kind of gift ideas you would recommend for Mother's Day. So leave those in the comments below and I will see you guys soon.